welcome to the House of Witchcraft. We don't exactly know where Miss Terraness is, but uh, come on in, brew some magic with us. Hello, hello, witches. This is obviously a very impromptu video. I'm down here at the cottage. It is a couple of days <coughs> after summer solstice when we've changed from the light half of the year to the dark half of the year. And for here in the cottage, the cottage which is Coven in San Diego, we honor our main altar with a light half of the year, as y'all have seen in some of my videos. And then with June 21st, or June 20th this year, when the solstice occurs, we change the altar over to the dark half of the year altar. And I'm down here feeding it uh, and realized, oh my gosh, I want to show you guys what this altar looks like now. So I'm going to flip my camera around and let you guys see the beautiful dark half of the year altar that was created by a folkloric coven of witches. All right, y'all enjoy. All right, witches, I want to make sure before I get over to the altar, like I said, this is a folkloric group of witches, all right? And so their altar may be set up a little different. I just want to say that out loud. But now we're going to go ahead and move. Let me give you a straight in shot. Um, yes, at the cottage, we do have a mirror uh, that is behind the altar year round during the season of the dead you will see us put a cloth a black cloth over that and front and center we have our representation for the dark half of the year goddess and right in front you can see this wonderful cute guy this is our representation of the dark lord for this year uh, when we did our summer solstice, we had a uh, light half of the year king and a dark half of the year king. And we told the light half of the year king how much we appreciated him, what a wonderful job he did. And then we threw him in the fire. Now we're taking our dark king, keeping him on our altars. All the witches are doing this. Just that masculinity balance. You see this as well, where we were... The light half is represented by the white candle. The dark half, as you can see, it's going to be a good year, which is, all right, is, was done actually during the ritual. I'm here down today to sort of clean and straighten up the altar and everything. Typically, we will let it burn. Um, as you can see, the candles we have. This is our divinity candle. This over here is a spirit candle. Dark half of the year is when we are starting to lean into spirit realms. All right. This is where, you know, that introspection go inside and things like that. And you'll see on the back of our altar are all the bells that we have. Um, again, in preparation for the, the dead part of our season, because you typically want to ring in the dead. Over here, someone has set up a, another spirit altar. All right, understand that this is a community altar. So I actually, myself, did not set this altar up, which is, this was done by about a dozen witches coming in and out rearranging it to the point that everybody likes it all right um, one thing I do want to point out as you'll see right here is the knife and which has got its sheath out it is a open blade so that lets us know this is a working altar here is our mess of incense I had lit this before I came in because I am feeding the altar right now when we talk about feeding the altar i'm gonna clean it up all right witches take everything off wipe it down put it back as close to identical as i can i will refresh the candles all right i do plan on doing the wash with some florida water and then of course y'all know let me go over here and y'all know i love 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 
some bay rum. I am telling you, this is the good stuff, witches. All right, I am going to do all of that down, uh, spray it all down on the altar, all right, um, and see if there's anything that feels like it ought not be there. I may take it off. If there's something else I feel that I want to put it on, then I will put it on. Uh, other witches will be stopping by, and they will be doing the same, okay? We feed the altar uh, sometimes with our time, all right? You know, people think, oh, I've got to go get a plate of food and put it up here. No, I'm feeding the altar right now. Actually, I think making this video is a way to feed my altar or to feed the altar. It's not just mine. Um, so... It's my time and coming down here and I'll sit, you know, quietly. I may journal a little bit, but just spending time. All right, witches. I said, I want, I'm just keeping it right there for y'all. I figured that altar is much more interesting to look at than me. And I will also, as I'm giving little shout outs, we have creations from the hollows. Wart Moon for next month, July. We're going to be using this for our full moon working. Oh, right here is our I'm Enough Sigil. You can get this on our website, houseofwitchcraft.com, for free. Print it out. It's a working sigil called I Am Enough. This is a self-love sigil. All right, y'all see. I know y'all keep asking, like, all those different herbs. They keep getting rearranged because we use them, which is... So sometimes you have to be aware that uh, somebody had asked me, you know, can you give me a list? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I wish I could. Some of this stuff we wild would. So what I have available this month may not be what I have available next month. Um, over here, you see we have other jars of seasonal items right here, all right, and which these are seasonal items that we can, down on the bottom shelf, here's some more seasonal things that we've gotten a hold of. Um, a lot of this is wildwood, it changes out. You can see our, here's our dollar store spices, you know, every good witch has those, and of course a little brimstone. Adds a little bit of oomph to work. And if y'all use that now, be careful. That's what I'm saying. I, I probably ought not even be showing y'all that. I'll get in trouble for things like that. All right, witches. I want to show y'all my altar. I also want to remind you, we are doing the 13 moons to the crossroads. Uh, a guided, but still very much, this is all about you. This is self-assisted. You're doing it. We're just there as your cheerleaders. 13 Moons to the Crossroads, working a year and a day with me and members of the House of Witchcraft on your initiation dedication journey. All right, and if you're interested in that, go sign up for that newsletter, houseofwitchcraft.com. All right, y'all send me pictures of your altar. I want to see what everyone else has done, witches, because I know we got some creative folk out there. Oh, goodness, y'all can tell I'm holding it in my hand and shaking. All right. I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu of our dark half of the year altar. This altar will stay up until December 21st or December 20th, whenever winter solstice happens. And that evening, we will completely change the altar out and flip it over to the light half of the year. And that's where you see the tall raffita uh, goddess representation. Like I was saying earlier for us, uh, within our common altar, I'm not talking about what the witches are doing on their own space now, y'all. Um, we uh, venerate acknowledge, work with, whatever word you want to use on our altar is the divine feminine and the divine masculine, all right? And that there's balance in that. We don't give it a name. It's not a, a, a god or a goddess. When I showed you the statue of the, that dark goddess, she is just the divine feminine for the dark half of the year. That's it. 
all right? And it's up to each of us, which is we work within different deities, entities, and aspects. So on your, you know, at home altar, you may have the goddess Hecate, all right? You may have the god Dionys, or well, blah, blah, blah. got my words tangled, all right? You may have the god Pan. You could have old horny one, all right? You know, uh, but for us, when we're working within a commonality, uh, it, the easiest way for us to is to acknowledge it within the divine feminine and the divine masculine. All right, which is, this is back again. You got to work in the situation you're in. As a solitaire, you get the privilege, because it is, to set up your own altar the way you want it with no one else's input. All right, folks sometimes talk about, oh, I wish I was in a coven. I'm like, huh, really? You want 14 other folks' opinions? Yeah, and they are the best opinions. I would never have it any other way, but be aware that this is a group altar, so it is going to be set up different for a solitaire's altar, all right, and how you want to represent the dark half of the year, uh, and what do you want to put on your altar? Do you even want to change it, all right? Different traditions, I know, different magic flavors, depends on your biscuit recipe, okay, but to be aware of these energies, this is the dark half of the year. This is, if we look to Mother Nature, this is when we're gathering things, we're harvesting. This is when animals are starting to hibernate and bring things in closer, making sure our family connections are strong. And then later on during the dark half of the year is when we have the season of the dead. Woo, witches, y'all just can't wait. Y'all just don't know how excited I, I love the season of the dead. Here at the House of Witchcraft, we celebrate it from October 1st until the November's full moon or when the witches feel like it. All right. Each year is slightly different as it should be where we're staying in the moment. All right. But the season of the dead, this is where we really celebrate the venerate, the get close to, Remember, say their names out loud. This is that season. Set up those ancestral altars, all right? And start now thinking about how are you vibing, all right, uh, towards the season of the dead. You know, how are you going to set up your altar this year, okay? All right, y'all, which is I'm just going to keep talking. I can already tell. So I'm going to stop. I've got other things to do. Y'all know I'm running behind as usual. Um, so with that said, I'm going to say I want y'all to have as bright of a blessed day as I'm having. And of course, as always, amen, blessed be, ashe, and ever